I am Stephen Jenkins. I work at the London School of Economics, where I'm Professor of Economic and Social Policy. My area of research is, broadly speaking, the income distribution and how that interrelates with the labour market, with taxes and benefits. One way of thinking about the income distribution, the range of incomes from the very bottom to the very top, where the rich people are, is like an apartment building. Right at the bottom, in the basement, are the poor people. At the very top, in the penthouse, are the richest. But most of the time when we look at the income distribution, for example, the official statistics through the Department of Work and Pensions, we only look at the building once a year and see who's on the different floors. So we know how unequal the distribution is. What my research does is go a little further and look at the movements between the floors. The people who are in the basement, are they stuck there forever? Do they move up? Do they go back down again? Similarly, the rich, do they stay at the top? Do they move down? To what extent are the movements between the floors? So why should we be interested in this? Well, if we're worried about poverty, for instance, we're interested in whether or not people are just poor for a short time or for a long time, the persistence of poverty. We're also interested in the extent to which everybody has a chance. How many people go from the basement to the penthouse? Or is life much more mundane, a matter of moving up or down a few floors from one year to the next? My research is based on the pioneering British Household Panel Survey. Back in 1991, around 5,000 households, so there's almost 10,000 adults, 13,000 individuals, were surveyed. Every year, those same people have been followed up and re-interviewed. We have interviews following from 1991 through to the middle of the 2000s, for some people up to 18 years. We ask them not just about their income, but all aspects of their lives work, their education, the family of course, and the great thing about the survey is we can then compare the incomes that they have with the jobs that they're taking, their family lives, so it's a matter of putting it all together in one big movie. One of the interesting findings from the study is that persistent poverty, measured in the way that the Department from Work and Pensions does, has in fact gone down over the period of the study. So broadly speaking, for a period before the end of the 90s and a period after the end of the 90s, the proportion of people who are persistently poor has gone down. The proportion has gone down from around 15% to 10%. One of the key findings that I referred to was that there is a lot of movement throughout the income distribution. So what that means is that the number of people who are touched by poverty over a period of years, let's say four years, is much, much bigger than the proportion of people who are found to be poor in any given time. So for example, in Britain, the proportion of people who are counted as poor on the official definition is around 18 to 20 percent. But if you widen the window out to four years, you get up to a number of around a third. So the perspective about the proportion of people who are touched by poverty is you know, rather different from the, the one-year picture. So that gives us an idea that the social security system, broadly speaking, is not just about focusing on a group of people who are stuck at the bottom all the time. It's relatively fluid. It could be you and I. So we need to reorientate the system to be thinking about helping not just people stuck at the bottom, but all sorts of people right up the income distribution because we may have a chance of going into poverty and coming out. You and I all know that people's lives change. We change house, we change jobs, we get married, we divorce, and that's life. So without this research, we really wouldn't be able to understand these issues in such great detail and therefore help design social policy and assist governments making up their minds about really what should be done. <laughs>